Hi folks, welcome to Coffee and Revelation uh, up in my office in Moore College. Um, we've got to the end of chapter 13 and there are 22 chapters, so we're well over halfway. And I thought I would just take the opportunity just now to review and to go back and to let you know about something else as well that's coming up. So, what is the purpose of doing this? We're looking at the book of Revelation. Well, for those of us who are Christians, and I'm assuming if, if, you, if you're watching this, you are a Christian. Maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you're, you're just curious. The Revelation, book Revelation has always been a mysterious book. And what we've seen so far is actually it's not that much of a mystery. There are images and symbols in it that are quite difficult. Um, but we saw from the beginning, John on the island of Patmos, the church is in deep trouble and Jesus comes to them. He makes an assessment of the church and then he basically, through the vision that John receives, John is encouraged in a strange kind of way because he's told that there's going to be persecution. He's told that we've just seen there's a dragon and two beasts. He's told that there's judgment upon the earth. And it is, in that sense, a revelation. It's extremely apocalyptic. And that, that's, a, that, that's a big, big issue. We're told a little bit about heaven and about worship in heaven. We go through the various trumpets and so on. Now, the reason I want to just pause and do a review or give that summary just now is uh, we, we saw yesterday about the number of the beast. And it says, this calls for wisdom. This calls for wisdom. And I was so taken by that phrase, and that's what I want to stick with. This is a call for wisdom. The church needs wisdom in this day. So I've just finished listening to an interview on Premier Radio with Brian McLaren, Andy Peck interviewing him. It was so depressing. Because McLaren, the Jesus that's described in Revelation, the Jesus that's described in the Gospels, is a million miles away from what McLaren says. Um, the, the idea that the, the, the question was put by Andy Peck, the whole idea of the program was meant to be, this is why, you know, the church is declining. We need to, you know, come up today, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that has ever been the voice of the deceiver. You need to take the mark of the beast. And my argument is absolutely not. We don't take the mark of the beast. We follow Christ. We don't accept the authority of the beast. We follow the authority of Christ. And as, as we saw yesterday in that beautiful song, Bob Dylan song, You've Got to Serve Somebody, sung by Natalie Cole. I hope you enjoyed that. That is something that is absolutely crucial and absolutely vital. Now, we're going to go on when we come to chapter uh, 14, the lamb and the 144,000, the harvesting the earth, the seven angels, the seven plagues, the seven balls of God's wrath, Babylon, um, hell, the thousand years, the new Jerusalem, and so on. And this is meant to encourage us to remain faithful to Jesus Christ. And that's really all I want to say today, because I've just been so discouraged by churches behaving like corporations or by people who use religion for, for money and power. And I just heard of yet another church leader who's been suspended uh, for inappropriate behavior online or, or something like that. And then, you know, you look at the legalism and all that kind of stuff. That's no answer either. And then th that McLaren interview and where McLaren is coming from, that's no answer either. The answer is to look at history and to look at the world through the eyes of Christ. So, it takes wisdom, but Christ is wisdom. It, it is all about Jesus. Christ is the wisdom of God for us. And we have to stick with Christ. I, I don't care what denomination you come from. I, I Honestly, I don't care at all. But we do need to be people who follow Jesus Christ and not the fashions and traditions of this world and not the religions of those who cannot accept what the Bible says and so just make up their own. So God bless you. We will come back to uh, chapter 14 tomorrow.